things like that. Now what you can do again is you can take a period of time and if you can't do it the entire time, you go for a walk for an hour, for half an hour. Let's say you can't do the whole time. Fine. Take five minutes, 10 minutes, and tell yourself that in this five minutes or 10 minutes, I'm not going to make any phone calls. I'm not going to check my phone. I'm not going to listen to music. I'm just simply going to step back and I'm going to come to this place. We call it the observer or the presence. So you step back, you come to the presence of who you are and you operate from that place. Now you're walking and you're present and you're looking around and you really looking at the trees, you're looking at your pathway, if there are flowers, if there's snow, um, whatever it is, you're listening to the birds, you're listening to the nature, or whatever sound is out there, you're just being completely present with what is happening in your surrounding and yourself instead of getting identified with your thoughts instead of getting lost into the stream of thoughts of what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? What's the next thing I need to do? And blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Is this making any sense? Yeah, good. Yeah, you have a question, Charlie? What's that? I unmuted you. No, I can't hear you. So it's, it's an active participation into, because a lot of you who've been with me and we talked about this many times already have a good idea about the observer, the, the true part of yourself, the presence, that there is this part of you, this part of me, that it's always present and is always here. And because of this part, this is our, let's say, um, the focal point within ourself the that we call it the observer the witness because of this part of ourselves we're capable it gives us the ability to witness and measure our ups and downs so if you're up we can talk about whether it's emotional or if it's mental. It's, it's thoughts or it's emotion that you get a feeling that you wake up in the morning and you're feeling down or you're feeling depressed or whatever it is. So now I, you, I wake up in the morning and as I wake up in the morning, for whatever reason, um, whether the weather is bad or what, whatever, it doesn't matter what the reason is. We have, there's millions of different reasons. I wake up in the morning and I feel depressed. I feel down. And what typically I do or any person does is you report to yourself you mention to yourself that oh I feel so depressed I feel really sad I feel really I feel like shit it's an announcement that we make to ourselves regarding our state of being regarding of how we feel now this is an observation 
I wake up in the morning and I am observing an emotion that is passing through me, a state of feelings that I'm in, in it. And I've noticed it. And I'm reporting to myself that this is how I feel. Okay? So something, a mechanism, a device, a state of being within myself, something inside me is observing another thing in me, which I call depression, which I call sadness, which I call feeling down. So let's say this one is standing like this and is observing something. This one is not moving. This is a non-moving state. It's like the witness is watching, is the observer, is always like, like a hawk, is looking. And it's observing that something is rising, which is observing this depression, this sadness has arisen. Because the depression or the sadness or whatever emotion that you experience in your life, it's, it doesn't always stay in you. And it doesn't always stay the same. We can, we can call it, it rises and it falls. It's like a wave rising and it's falling or it's passing through you. So when we're talking about the observer, you're the observer, you're the witness, is we're referring to the real you who is always in this place of observe, observation. It's always in this place of witnessing and noticing and reporting that an emotion is passing through you. An emotion has presented itself. So, and then you notice the presence of this emotion. And what happens is typically because we're not trained and we don't, we, it's not in our training, what happens is naturally the person identifies with this emotion and the person thinks that this is who they are. As the, the person is identified with the constant stream of their thoughts because we all we most of us believe that whatever we're thinking is that who we are but when we learn this what happens is we learn how to separate ourselves so a separation takes place through this teachings and that separation this, this self-awareness, this mechanism that is kicking in, it gives you the tool, the tools to identify and to recognize this. That in fact, you are not the stream of constant thoughts passing through you, or you're not this emotion that is going through you. But in fact, you're the observer, you're the seer, you're the witness of this emotion that is arising in you and it's going to fall. And then another emotion is going to come. 